Hey guys, it's Bobby. Um, so, like I said, this is um, the video series of how to increase your eBay sales. Um, this is actually part two of up to seven videos. Um, if you recall, um, last my last video um, was the global shipping program, which I talked about how it increased my sales by almost 30%. All right, like I said, tip number two. Um, this, like I said, will be the second video of up to seven. Um, so what today I'm gonna talk about is the picture and image optimization. Okay, so what does that mean? Um, so I'm just gonna explain how it's gonna increase impressions with the image and picture optimization. Um, essentially, if you have been doing eBay drop shipping or even shopping on eBay, you'll notice, you know, say you look up a trash bag, right? And then or any other item, eBay will give you a whole list of uh, trash bags. Okay, so you'll see the title. You know, the titles are may may or may not be the same. The picture will almost always be the same. So, like one in a million pictures that that is the exact same stock image from the website, okay? And so when I say picture optimization, I mean maybe differentiating that picture from the norm, right? From that search result, all right? So as a buyer, like when I was looking for, you know, a book or, I don't know, this microphone, right? Um, so I looked through it, what do I look for? Okay, so all the images are the same. So what's the difference then, right? So, I mean, you look through the price, the photo, and maybe feedback, okay? Um, so essentially, this is what I wanna talk about. So the image, how to stick out. Yeah, of course, your price. You might be priced competitively, but what people really look at are images, right? The pictures. People don't even read descriptions is what I have have seen at least. <laughs> All right, so let's optimize it. So my question is, do you guys know how many free pictures you can put up on a listing? Well, I looked it up on eBay and it's um, up to 12, right? So if you know anything about Cassini, aka the eBay search engine, um, they do look for um, listings and, you know, throughout the listings is the automated bot, right? And if you have more images, it's, um, you know, they're pretty much going to rank you a little higher than someone with the same title, same image, or same price. Uh, but you have one leg up with, um, you know, up to 12 images. So the more images, the best, right? So definitely uh, fill up those images, whether it's copying and pasting the same image 12 times, um, rotating the image, which I'll talk about soon. Um, so eBay's picture policy is, you know, you can have up to 12 images. It has to be clear, right? And I mean, clear and it has to be more than 500 pixels or also reject, right? All right. So my suggestion is to do the whole 12 image, right? Have a clear image. I mean, if you're getting it from the, your supplier, you should be all set there. Uh, making collage, um, you could either use Photoshop, uh, Paint, or Canvas, anything like that. But um, if you have a software like I do, I can show you later. Um, I know I use DSM tools still for Walmart and Home Depot items. So I'll show you how I do it there. And also you can rotate the image or use the supplier secondary image for, you know, to make it your own image on your main image. So it'll look a lot different than, you know, everyone else, right? So like I said, follow eBay's picture policy and their guideline. Um, I went through it and just summarized a little bit that I thought was more important, okay? So what is allowed on eBay? So it has to be a large, clear photo of the item, okay? And if it's an open box item, the pictures of the flaws, you know, what's missing, what's defective, what's worn about it. Right. 
And then what's not allowed is adding borders and less than 500 pixels, right? Although I, I do hear some gurus saying, you know, add a border, add a watermark, add a 20% off sign to the image. I mean, that's not technically allowed, right? So you want to steer clear. We, we got to do things the right way. Um, and, you know, your account won't be at risk to be suspended for some type of images or image manipulation, right? So additional text, artwork, or mark you know, marketing to photos, like I said, doing a 20% off or 10% off or free shipping or no tax writings on the image. It's not allowed. I mean, they don't really enforce it now, but from what things are, I mean, recent events of dropshippers being flagged, I mean, that's nothing I want to deal with at this point, right? <laughs> and watermarks. I mean, this is to prevent maybe someone from sniping you or maybe, I don't know, watermarks for your logo or some other marketing, um, you know, line, but it's not worth it to me. All right. Um, all right. Let's get into how I do this. So I just looked it up. So to save time, looked up an image or item on Home Depot, all right, which has a bunch of random item uh, pictures. So that's what I wanted. Okay. So I just imported this into my DSM tool. All right, um, so images here. So as you can see, this is the main image. Um, you can rotate that image like so, if you really want to do that. But you can even put it upside down, but <laughs> I wouldn't do it in this case. So maybe making a collage, right? So you could add this, uh, the glad, add the five day odor. Uh, how about the rip guard? Yep, the rip guard. And then something like grip, grips the can, or even the back of the thing here. And you can add the collage, right? And I could technically make this my main image, see, just by clicking that. So, I mean, you guys have listing softwares. I mean, I'm not sure how to use other ones as, like I said, I only use this for my non-Amazon items. So, I mean, I'll have to go in. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, let's do two more, right? So, I can... Do a mirror image of this. See what I mean? Um, and I mean, I can definitely do more collages. I I usually have them downloaded and then upload, but I'm not gonna do this in this example. But let's do more collages. So let's do the wording: rip guard, leak guard, right? All the benefits. And uh, let's end it with. The can. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's do a bunch of collages. Like I said, guys, this is just for example. I mean, I would definitely do a better job, but I'm not even listening to this, so I'm glad here. And then five day control here, add the collage, and then one more. Two collages if I really wanted to. And, and there's some softwares where it'll automatically optimize or automatically copy your images and you know upload it up to 12 times so it'll it'll hit on those images all right so if i were to use that as the main image i mean it'll look a lot different than hey, let me put this up for you guys so if you see that 
versus something like pictures of just this. I mean, so I'm going to say, oh, this looks different, and they'll look into it, and then hopefully you'll convert them to a sale. All right, guys, that's tip number two. Um, look forward to doing more videos, so look forward to getting video number three out. Subscribe, click the notification bell, and, you know, when my next video, tip number three, that in the series will come up, you'll get the alert notification bell. Uh, share this if you think, um, you know, this will be helpful to other people. Comment below any questions or video ideas. Um, I have affiliate links down below. Um, these are the only things that I use, you know what I mean? So um, I do promote them as in just having a link down below and do videos on them. So things like sales freaks, um, DSM tool, um, Ecom Tom's drop shipping course, dropship Tyler's course, drop shipping Titans course, and also the Amazon private label drop shipping course. Um, and more to come. But I mean, um, sorry for not making videos frequently within the past month. We've just been very busy with quarter four and a lot of things going on, but more videos to come regularly. All right, guys, have a good one.